Welcome to this week's highlights package, with Only Town First Eleven taking on Buckland and Aston Clinton. There were worries about taking on two villages, but thankfully the umpires insisted on the match remaining eleven aside. We join the action here with former Supreme Leader and Mayor of Olney Ben Brown dropping an off-camera chance, perhaps distracted by how much the town had declined since his rule ended. Thankfully Ben pulled himself together and bowled their opener. God, he's good. Archie Chatfield here demonstrating his disappearing ball magic trick that he's worked on over the season. There it goes! Josh Selvey removed the other quick scoring opener with a characteristic ball that drew the edge and an uncharacteristic catch from interim skipper Jack Watson. Yes that's right folks, Jack Watson is interiming. The third dismissal came courtesy of a trademark Pat Ball screamer as he leapt elegantly to hold on to a looping chance. A less vertically challenged fielder may have simply stuck an arm in the air but we enjoy the content Pat. There were worries that Ben had bowled too economically in his early overs, but those fears were soon put to one side as Mr Bukhari tucked into the buffet on offer, dispatching a ball into Doffs. A couple of balls later though, the buffet was closed down, after finding John Pearson had been fingering the volivons with unwashed hands, Niall holding on to a steepler. Yeah. <laughs> the goat then sauntered into the attack and made light work of the stumps, following on from his good form last week. And another! Stuart taking two quick wickets. He hadn't even had time to decide which batsman he was going to abuse today. Ollie Betteridge, fresh from a few weeks of pre-season, made a fairly unathletic diving attempt and caused considerable damage to outfield upon landing. Luckily the drop wasn't too costly as the batsman tries to ball, launch the ball into next week, forgetting the game was being played today, here, now, in the present. Ollie Knowles then let the club and his whole family and everyone that knew him down as he dropped a simple chance on the boundary, much to the delight of the opposition who were quite frankly clutching at things to be happy about at this point. Their joy didn't last long though as Pat cleared up another. You may notice the change in weather conditions in the background and there were lengthy delays throughout. The wind was so strong that Richard Beardshaw, Andrew Griffin and George Saker were banned from the wreck on account they might take flight. Noel took the penultimate wicket, completely ignoring calls from young Pat, who let Noel know what he thought of that by unleashing a classic slide tackle. And Noel also got the last wicket, bowling their captain, who maybe should have spent less time trying to get the game called off, and more time practising his forward prod. Meow! The only reply got off to a pleasing start, with the cheerful Dan Robinson milking the length on offer and working the ball elegantly through Cow Corner. Move over, Fraser, there's a new commentator in town. Jack Watson then surprised absolutely nobody by edging behind for a duck. Please feel free to save this audio and reuse for the rest of the season. One of the more pleasing discoveries this year has been Archie Chatfield at number three, again demonstrating why he's been a great addition to the first team. Dan was then bold and didn't really know what to do with himself, being unable to complain about an umpire's decision. Recent returnee Unavela Bull then came out for his official homecoming and together with Archie made light work of the remaining overs as the looming finish line gave them freedom to play more shots. Our thanks this week needs to go to Stuart and Jack who could have easily called the game off in the early part of the morning and they've been down there since 9am. They were ordered with a classic first team performance which put us into an excellent position going into what is our traditionally best part of the season. And also, I need to say a big thank you to Fraser and Hamish Ball who usually put these highlights packages together. This is my 20th take and I will not be doing any more. <laughs>